Hi, I'm Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits, and I want to talk about threats. If you do a SWOT analysis, it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And you have to look at threats. You can't just put your head in the sand and say, things are going to be great. Well, you want to plan for things to be great. You also want to plan for whatever could be threats. And ignoring them and expecting them to go away is not a good business model. We don't want to overcompensate for them. We don't want to grow them in our mind when they're not even there. We don't want to talk about bad economies because the reality is you create your economy in your brain before you experience an economy in your pocketbook. But I do want to be aware of any particular threats. Over the years, I've had clients where in states like uh, Oklahoma or Texas or, or um, North Dakota that were experiencing booms with the oil business. But I also started in the car business back in the boom of Texas when it was really rocking with oil, but I was also there when it went down faster than a rock. So when you have to, you, you're looking at your business as a salesperson, an entrepreneur, I want you to do that SWOT analysis and, and, and think about what could your threat be? Is it a competition, a competitor that you need to be aware of? Is it a marketplace change? Is it a local economy change? So you don't put your head in the sand, you plan for it and you try to be nimble. That's what you have to be today more than ever before. You have to be able to change and change quickly, understand your threats and be aware of them. Just don't grow them in your brain. Just be aware of them so you can handle them when they come your way. I'm Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits. Make sure you check out my website at Tewart.com. Follow me on Twitter at Mark Tewart. Call me anytime you wish at 888-2-Tewart. Thanks a lot and good selling.